You look so fashionable with your Korean coat. Yeah. But what happened here? Look. What happened? Too much Christmas sweets that <laughs> you cannot fit in, in. Yeah. What happened? Tell me. This is an S. You should be an XS. What's happening to you, Fatty? You getting fatty? Yeah? Okay, so I need to return it. Hello guys, happy to be back. I just wanted to film a very short video, the last video of this year, and God knows I'm just dying to get over this one because it has been another tough year. Um, this video is all about the most used bags of 2021. I will keep it real. It, this is exactly the kind of bags that I carry daily and uh, all of them have their own videos. So you can go back and check the reviews I have for them. I got more bags. So <laughs> you will have to wait for 2022 and hopefully I will be back uh, filming in YouTube. But uh, yeah, so today is all about the past, what I've been carrying and enjoying in 2021. So let's start. Uh, my Alexa has been uh, one of the most used uh, bags in 2021. But among the whole uh, list of bags you're going to see, yeah, it's in the bottom. And the reason is because it's kind of heavy. Uh, so... I, do, I don't need to carry um, so many things daily, but I love the look. I love the color. It's a very beautiful emerald green. Uh, it's a mulberry green. That's the official name of it. Uh, I still have the stickers on um, the turn lock, um, but I love this bag. I carry it when it's raining. It didn't give me any problems. Um, I can carry my laptop, I can carry all my stuff whenever, you know, usually on a Friday, I will take my laptop and my filers and everything for the weekend if I have to work from home. So uh, that's the reason why this would be my Friday bag or my Monday bag. I love it when it's raining um, because I don't have to think so much about, oh, it's going to get, uh, you know stained or whatever so it's a very easy bag i love it it's kind of heavy so you have to be mindful of that and uh the only uh thing um that you have to uh know about this bag is that you can see that it makes this kind of wrinkle this is happening because of a uh, structure of the bag so there's nothing you can do to avoid it uh, you know it always happened ever since day number one um, so I don't know about the future, what's going to happen, uh, in the leather, in that side. It doesn't bother me because I love slouchy. That's the reason why I love this bag. The handle is super thick and very comfortable to carry. Um, so, you know, it's a very easy bag. Um, love the color and yeah, I highly, highly recommend Next most used is my Bottega Veneta uh, Jody, Mini Jody. This is the smallest size that they make. Uh, this one uh, is super cute and I bought it because I, want so I wanted something light that I could carry, you know, when I would go for a walk with my dog or, you know, I just had to do um, errands. Um, and this has turned to be <laughs> very used and loved because Whenever it's raining, I like to carry a big umbrella and I just put it like this in my arm and it doesn't get wet. However, I already taste, <laughs> tested this bag. You can see I've carried it a lot and the leather is just still wonderful. Um, I had a date and I was carrying this bag and, you know, it's one of those days that I check my uh, my mobile app and it says no no rain. So I went out. I was uh, I had a very nice you know very nice hair makeup with my Bottega Veneta Jody, and I was so happy. And in the middle of the way because I decided to walk, 
uh, to do some exercise, you know, and by the time I arrived, it started raining and raining and raining and I didn't have anywhere to, you know, to make my back safe. So in the end, everything was wet and I was, you know, my hair was a chaos and I was in such a bad mood and I was very lucky because the guy turned out to be very nice so in the end my mood changed but I realized it dried up and I don't see any marks of any raindrops or anything and I tell you imagine no umbrella pouring rain I thought it would be uh, completely destroyed and the good thing is that my date was wearing a raincoat and then because it's so small um he could hide it inside of his jacket and he could help me carry it um you know so that's that so it's it's tiny it's cute but you know it stands it's it's uh it's a good leather handbag so don't feel worried about the intrachato which is um the way that it's woven the leather is woven and yes uh you will see that a lot of people complain about the zipper uh, you just need to you need two hands to open this bag so you just need to pull i find in my bag the zipper is very good so no complaints and instead of having um all my things around the bag what i do is i use a pouch so i have a velvet pouch i just put all my things in the pouch it fits perfectly and then i just take it out and choose my things if you're gonna put all your little things then probably you will have more of a problem closing the bag but wonderful I would love it in the green there's a very funny green color I also like um, the bigger bigger size because uh, I think they have like a, a small a medium and a super large I would like the one uh, one size down of the large. This is color almond. I have a review of this bag. I highly highly recommend it Super cute Next up is my Moyana Gabrielle uh, I don't know what to say about this bag. I just love it. I love the color. It makes me so happy It's light. It's very practical um it's very sturdy um i can wear it with my with my sneakers uh, but also i feel like it could be dressed up you could wear it with a very nice dress um i think it's the perfect color for um spring and summer but also for fall um i love the tone lock my only complaint to mona would be why they're not using this tone lock more often in other bags and the reason is very simple I can completely turn the lock with one hand pop it open then I usually in Shanghai uh, I have to go through security in the metro so I just show the inside um, to the security person and then you see the pins are very easy to fit and then I just turn the lock I only need to use one hand to open and close the bag um, you know and I find it is super super convenient uh, I've used it a lot and you can see it's still looking like new it comes with um, it comes with a strap I have a complete review of this bag um so you can go and have a look i am going to buy another gabrielle for sure this is the size pm which i believe i think this size would be suitable for most people unless you want to carry a bag for work and you have to put filers then i would go for the medium size um but this size is just amazing um, I want to get one in um, it's like a kind of powder color so it's a little bit like this of white and gold hardware 
or I would like one in black and silver hardware. I don't know, I'm still... Or if they could come up with a very bright green, I don't know, I'm very much into green lately, or burgundy, for sure I would buy another Gabrielle. So I'm just waiting, you know, for, for my next Gabrielle, but I highly, highly recommend this bag. It's totally worth it. It's very light, very comfortable. And this is the reason why this year I have not used my Fendi bag so often because I've used my Gabrielle uh, quite a lot. And you can see that it looks brand new. Next is uh, another Moina and this is a Moina Gabrielle Reporter. This is a discontinued style. So you will only be able to find it in the pre-love market. If you do, I highly, highly recommend you getting this bag. Um, it's very very practical i mean it's the same style as i told you uh the same opening very classic um the interior fits quite a lot i also put just a velvet uh, a velvet pouch with all my things it's the same system very practical this one the only regret i would say is it does not uh, you cannot take the strap and interchange the strap uh, for a wider strap if you want it. So that's the only con that I can find in this bag. But it looks super nice, very classic. It looks perfect when you are wearing a very casual jeans, t-shirt and or a sweater uh, and sneakers. But also when you're wearing a um, summer dress or you know, something more formal. Uh, it doesn't scream designer, but you just see a very minimalistic, simple design. The leather is the same leather as the Gabrielle. It's very nice. This one, oh my God. This one I also carry <laughs> when, you know, it started raining and I was also very concerned. But man, this, this, this bag here, you know, I've used it so much and I tell you, uh, I didn't have an umbrella, it started raining. Uh, the, the weather in Shanghai is pretty unstable. So you see like now it is very sunny and you know, one hour later it's raining. So it doesn't have any marks and the interior is pretty, pretty okay. I bought this one pre-loved, you can see. It's a wonderful bag. I highly, highly recommend it. It's super light, um, but you can fit many things. And I just carry it crossbody most of the time. So very beautiful handbag. Gabriel Reporter. Next, and this is my second most used bag in 2021 is my medium size Loewe puzzle. Um, I love both sizes. I have the small and the medium. I also have a video comparing both sizes uh, so you can go check that one out. I think for most people the small is gonna be enough but I super love the slouchiness of the medium. I also like to carry a little bit more sometimes but I love the color of this one is like a blue, light blue gray color. Very nice for the whole year. Um, Cause I can wear this one with jeans in the summer. I can wear it with um, very nice, dark, rich brown, uh, like a cognac color dress um, during the fall. So I really love it. It's very, very handy. I think everyone should try at least uh, the Loewe puzzle. For me, it's a must-have bag. I love it. The leather is beautiful. Also, I experienced rain with this bag and with a small one. Uh, and I don't have to bother whether the leather is going to bubble or it's going to stain. It's a beautiful leather. It's very comfortable. This one comes with... Um, you know, so when you, when you put it down at least it doesn't get all dirty i've used this one so 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 much 
and I love it uh, I would love to get another puzzle in the medium size but I'm looking for a specific uh, style that I have not found in the medium size yet because usually in the pre-love market the small size is more popular but I just love this size um, yeah it's a very nice handbag finally my most used handbag of the year is a Celine big bag in size small this one is also discontinued so you will only find it pre-loved I've used it so much uh, it's my number one bag when I got it I didn't think I would use it so much um, but I have stained it with um, in the front with water you cannot see the stain anymore and I didn't do anything so it's not a delicate um, leather at all. The color goes very well with any outfit. I always keep this Twilly or I like to interchange Twilly's just to make it more colorful because it's a, an all leather handbag. The interior is suede. I also have a review about this bag. It's not popular at all, but it's the same as the Loyer de Puzzle. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, you to try this bag if you're someone who has to carry quite a lot for every day if you're someone who has to carry filers um, I use this bag when I have to carry my laptop or when I have to go to the bank and I have to bring all my documents and all stuff when I have a customer meeting why because you see the logo is so tiny it's not offensive no one remembers this bag but it's very well made very nice it fits a lot of things you don't need to open it up all the time because you can just put your hand inside i have a bag organizer so just to help a little bit with the shape um you could add charms here if you want i have some um loewe charms and just to make it more uh, nice, I would just have my charm here. Um, but the interior, it's a very rich color um, suede. It has one pocket. So you can carry, you can fit a lot of things of this bag. The strap is also pretty nice. And I have to tell you, none of these bags I, I'm not someone who is super careful like oh I got one scratch and then I will not use the bag anymore I'm someone who loves to enjoy handbags so I'm using these bags and I know some people will say oh but I don't like um, you know the kind of shape uh, here that the bag is making in the end this is leather it's meant to be used I love a slouch um, because I know how much I'm enjoying this bag and I love it with a whole black dress and sneakers and this bag um, I love it with grey I mean this color is a must-have color in my opinion um, yeah so I would say this cognac tan color a black color and a grey for me they are they are the basics I understand that for white, white with handbags usually tends to be a little bit yellow and it's more difficult to take care of, so I understand. And then you just need to experiment a little bit with color, like a nice pink, if you want pink, or an emerald color. Green is very much in my radar right now, burgundy also. But what, I'm, what, I, what I meant to say is that these handbags are my everyday handbags I don't have to worry so much you know about them I know they they, they still look good uh, I want to use them they are not the most expensive handbags in my collection but I love them equally I enjoy this Celine the same as I enjoy my Mulberry Alexa you know for me there is no difference uh, regardless that the price is different or oh, i enjoy my um my jody bag you know 
they're just different handbags and um as long as you like the color and the size and the handbag is working for you um i'm very much about enjoying your handbag collection instead of just having very beautiful and expensive bags that are you know staying in your closet and you're always afraid of using um so yeah i hope this was useful um if you have any doubts about any of these bags just uh, write it in the comments and i try to reply as soon as i can um otherwise i wish you a very joyful and a lot of health for 2022 and i will see you in my next video bye bye